Well, isn't that just precious? I saved her though. Help with Disgusting. Stars, cross eye. Where the hell are you? Damn, are you guys fucking with me or what? Hey, I'll use the knife to knock him out. You might wonder why I install bothered installing silencer, silencer if I'm gonna use the knife Sorry. anyway. <laughs> the answer to that is, well, there are certain foes which I will have to kill. We searched everything already. They had a lot of shit here. Might have missed some bullets or whatever. Where you move your ass? The other guys are probably back home already half drunk. Okay, okay, okay. Thanks, man. I'll time you now. Come on. Give me a second. Thanks. Thanks, man. I thought I thought I was done for. You took everyone still alive. The kids, the women. Mm-hmm. I'll move the rail car so that you can drive through. I will follow. I'm gonna save your women while I'm at it. But for but I need to go back and get that car. The reason for that is that there's radiation on the ground and I need a car to well ride over that. Okay, one woman saved, one guy saved. I'm gonna try and not kill too many of them. I'm surprised they don't hear me considering all the noise I'm making with this. Hey, hey. sometimes it just goes like that. gas mask there if you need it I don't I remember Pavel saying, you can't save everyone, you have to choose the lesser evil. In the Nazi concentration camp, he's probably right. But one thought has been nagging me on ever since. 
We're all damn heroes saving humanity, the Nazis killing anyone, however slightly mutated, the communists eager to herd everyone into one state and thus introduce peace into the metro, me who in order to save people has destroyed the whole new ancient species. We're talking of salvation all the while, killing, killing, and killing. And that was the way of man always. Hmm. Sure. Yes, they are. Can't let them see me after all. There's too many of them. <laughs> Easy. Hey. Say good night. Can't sh can't turn off that fire. Quiet. Far from the brass. Hey. <coughs> Stay there. Hmm. Hey. <laughs> Too much of a risk if you understand what I mean. I'm surprised he didn't actually see me there. Sleep tight. You won't wake up from that anytime soon. You don't need to know. You don't need to know. I was never here. Nothing ever happened. You all just had a good night's sleep. And the refugees got saved. Where is that guy sleeping? Really? I knocked him out, yes. But, uh, eh. Just a game bug, I suppose. Anyway, so these guys have been successfully dealt with without killing any one of them. 
That's excellent. Okay, I need to open that door. Gate, whatever. And bring the car here. The door lock. If I had opened this earlier, they would have um, figured out I was here. Okay. I do need a car. That'll force you to bring it with you. Yeah, um, by placing radiation spots on the ground, which you can only pass if you have it. And there it is. So we move forward. Hmm. So what? Are we going? Going where? Put the bucket up with you. To our duty. The boss said if we let just one snitch slip by, he's gonna have our asses. No sheep. Let's go then. Well, let's uh kill these guys. Well, not really kill them, take them out. Wait for a second one to come here. Come past. Easy. Well, I guess I don't need to wait for a second one. Just wait for it. Take it easy. Easy. Okay, leave that vehicle there. Their station is close by, if I'm not mistaken. Call their guard post, not station guard post. You don't want to piss these guys off, believe me. Hmm, maybe there's something here to pick up. That's why I actually switched the tractor. Take this one easy. This is where they got ambushed, actually. Hmm. Might be a way. Not sure. Maybe. We'll see. Closed off, however. Can't be opened. Have to go the other way. Okay. I could go grab my car, but first let's rescue the women and children, then do that. It's in Russian. Bodies. A warning. Spare the children, please. Oh, Kill us, but let the children go. No. Please, shut up a lot of you, or I'm gonna slice you. No. There's no use blocking those holes up. What the fuck was that? And the guy said, 
Intense. Hey, you hear the one about the tunnel master? No. Well, you know at the end stations of all the lines, where the tunnel terminates, and guys make a fire, drink, play cards. So, sometimes, one of those guys just stands up and walks off into the tunnel. And that's fucking it. So, he oh, going, he says, I've been summoned by the master. And once a person is summoned, even if you tie them to their bunks, they'll just chew their ropes off and run off into the tunnel. Damn, that shit gives me the chills. How about some tea? Please, please, spare us! <laughs> You're a bastard! Murderer! <laughs> Die. <laughs> They're safe. Tense, but they are safe. Now. Someone, somebody told me once that the metro stands on water. Usually it can't get inside the, wa the tunnels, the lived-in stations have pumps working day and night to remove the water seeping in from the outside. But there are also places like this where the tunnels have turned into, the, into subterranean rivers and the stations into islands. That won't stop me, I will continue my pursuit even on water. The Venice is already in sight. Okay. Might be already inside, but it's not gonna be easy. I don't want to kill anyone, but I will if I have to. Hey, what was that? Well, I already killed some people, sure, but I want to kill as few people as possible. Anyway, Costine here, signing out. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video, and don't forget to check out the playlist as well.